The former boyfriend of a missing San Diego woman was in court today where he was told he must continue to register as a sex offender. Dia Abrams went missing almost two years ago and as CBS 8's David Gottfriedson reports, Keith Harper said in court today that having to register as a sex offender amounts to a death sentence. I'm currently living in California. 72-year-old Keith Harper represented himself in court in San Juan County, Colorado, where he was convicted 10 years ago of misdemeanor sexual battery for groping two women during snowmobile tours. I did a year in jail. Misdemeanors are, I don't think, meant to be a life sentence. In Colorado, misdemeanor sex offenders can petition the court to discontinue registration after 10 years. 10 years have passed that have had significant impact on my ability to acquire jobs and it's become almost a death sentence for me. For at least the past two years, Harper has been living in California on the Bonita Vista Ranch near Idlewild. He was the boyfriend of the ranch owner, former La Jolla resident Dia Abrams, who mysteriously went missing from the ranch in June 2020 and has not been found. A second woman, Jody Newkirk, died on the ranch in December of last year in an incident reported by Harper as an ATV rollover accident. Newkirk's official cause of death and autopsy have been sealed as part of Riverside Sheriff's ongoing investigation. We're not there yet, and we won't be there until 2025. Back in Colorado court, the district attorney opposed Harper's petition because while he was convicted of the misdemeanor sex offenses in 2012, he appealed his conviction taking years and didn't actually get released from a one-year jail sentence until 2015. Based upon the statute, um, the 10 years is not ran. The Colorado judge ruled he can't petition to discontinue his sex offender registration until 2025. I'm going to deny it. I'll write a formal denial within the next 30 days. Now, because of those convictions in Colorado, Keith Harper's information is posted on the California sex offender website because he lives on that ranch near Idlewild. And his mugshot, his information will continue to be posted on the California website for at least the next three years. Carlo? David, there's a, a lot going on with Keith Harper. He's still living on that ranch. What's going on with the investigation into the cases of those two women? I emailed the Riverside Sheriff's Department today for more information on those investigations, but they did not respond to my email. Uh, meanwhile, the children of that missing woman, Dia Abrams, continue their fight in court to get Harper removed as trustee of that estate, that ranch up in Idlewild. That probate trial has been continued several times now, and it was just continued again. And that trial in probate court in Palm Springs is now set for September of this year. David, you've been following this saga very closely. You know, we know that you'll bring us any new developments. Thanks, David.